Yo, what up, y'all? It's Greg Old School Lights, Greg Lewis, and you just tuned into another episode of An Honest Minute. In this episode, I want to talk to y'all about what an a and or a label or producer is looking for in selecting a new artist. First of all, matter of fact, we're going to make this a three-part because I want to deal with it this a little bit. So I just say originality, first of all. That sounds so cliche, but people, please be original. It's better to be the first you than the next somebody else. You know what I'm saying? Because it's like in the game now, it's changing. A lot is going on right now. And it's hard to find individuals who are individuals. Everybody is really trying to be the next T.I. or the next Kanye or the next... Uh, uh, common or the next just I don't know whoever who's whoever's hot Trey songs you know what I'm saying Neo instead of being the first Billy 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 Joe Orenthal the third or whoever you are you know what I'm saying so it's just that originality plays a very significant role in this game because if you look at the past like some of the best groups that did it actually reinvent themselves every time they come out. Look at groups like Outkast, and we want to talk about hip-hop. Outkast is a new group every time they come out, and each time they sell more records. You know, even Jay-Z, he reinvents himself every album. You know, Kanye reinvents himself every album. You know, so it's all about being original. Bring that originality, and you might have a shot, at least in what you're doing. You know what I'm saying? So that's part one to a three-part episode on what a rs or labels or producers may be looking for when they're searching for an artist. So tune in next time for part two. It's your man Greg Old School Lights Green Lewis. And as always, I'm out.